Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Errol Spence Jr. is completely and a hundred percent overlooking Mikey Garcia. And let's just break that down. You know, he recently did an interview with fighthype.com and basically came out and stated that, you know, I have no concerns when it comes to Mikey Garcia. So he's not concerned with Mikey's power. He's not concerned with Mikey's defense, uh, Mikey's boxing ability. He's not concerned with anything that Mikey Garcia brings to the table. But I'm not surprised at all because I've been calling this from the very beginning that Errol Spence Jr. would not be concerned with anything that Mikey Garcia was doing. And he wouldn't be concerned with Mikey Garcia at all because he's overlooking Mikey Garcia. This is what I've been saying. Errol Spence Jr., this is why he will be exposed and shocked on the night of March 16th because he's overlooking Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia is a four division world champion, soon to be five. Mikey Garcia has elite boxing abilities. He is one of the best boxers in the world today. Errol Spence Jr. has poor head movement. Yes, you can swat off a few punches, but you can't swat off every punches. Ask Lamont Peterson how many times he landed flush on Errol Spence Jr.'s chin, but Lamont Peterson didn't have the punching power, pedigree, boxing skill, accuracy, or precision that Mikey Garcia has. Lamont Peterson's not half the fighter that Mikey Garcia is. Lamont Peterson was already knocked out in the third round against a Lucas Matisse, but went seven with Errol Spence Jr. See, this is what we have to do. We have to start pulling resumes because Errol Spence Jr. and his fanboy groupies are delusional about the fight with Mikey Garcia. These guys think it's going to be an easy cherry pick walkthrough fight. Easy work, light work, no competition. And that's fine. Keep that same energy on the night of the fight when you go through the first three, four, five, six rounds and you being completely outboxed and humiliated. When you're going forward, swinging wild punches and you're not able to connect at the rate you're used to. Yes. Mikey Garcia will have some very difficult rounds against Errol Spence Jr. It's a 50-50 fight, but solely because Errol Spence Jr. has such an enormous size and weight advantage. Mikey Garcia has already stated that Errol Spence Jr., could weigh about 20 pounds heavier than him on the night of the fight. And Mikey Garcia is not concerned with being dramatically overweight or weighing in directly at 147. If he feels good at 144, 145, 146, that's where he'll weigh in at. And that's okay because at the end of the day, we rely on boxing skills and ability, not size. No one said that Floyd Mayweather could win fights because he was a smaller man. But the funny thing is that people give Errol Spence Jr. credit for a boxing ability that he has never displayed. Errol Spence Jr. has never displayed elite level boxing ability. He's fought subpar and lower level competition, competition that had already been beat and knocked out. Let's look at the best wins on his resume. So the best three wins on Errol Spence Jr.'s resume, Kell Brook, and Kell Brook had already been knocked out by Triple G. Uh, the next best win was Lamont Peterson, who had already been locked out by Lucas Matisse. And the third best win was a Chris Algieri, who had already been pummeled and dropped multiple times by Manny Pacquiao. Why are the three best wins of your career guys who've already shown an ability to be hurt by other fighters? Come on. But yet Errol Spence Jr. is the monster of the division. I don't believe the hype. I don't believe the hype because I see him for what he is. Because if you look at Errol Spence honestly and unbiasedly, let me break this down for you. And this is for all the fanboys who don't understand that Errol Spence Jr. was made a boxer. Mikey Garcia was born a boxer. Mikey Garcia has natural abilities and instincts. Errol Spence Jr. is being taught to do things. He's trying to learn on the fly. And he's still virtually inexperienced even at this point in his career. And that will show on the night of the fight of a caliber of this fight. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be an easy night's work for Mikey Garcia. It's going to be a very difficult and rough fight. And a fight where Mikey Garcia could get dropped a few times. Where Mikey Garcia could get hurt. And he could have some close calls. But I believe because Mikey Garcia is levels above Errol Spence in pure boxing ability and ring IQ. So you have to understand that Errol Spence Jr. has never had to display an elite level ring IQ. Who did he have to display the IQ against? Who? Chris Algieri? A guy who's already been beat up by Manny Pacquiao? Against Kell Brook? A guy who was destroyed by Triple G? Who did he have to? Because then you have idiots making comparisons saying, oh, this is going to be the same as, you know, Triple G versus Kell Brook. That makes no sense because Mikey Garcia is no Kell Brook. Mikey Garcia is a four division world champion, something Kell Brook is not. Mikey Garcia has defense, offense, footwork, and IQ. A lot of things that Kell Brook is lacking. Kell Brook is just a big power puncher similar to Errol Spence Jr. And Errol Spence Jr. is far from a triple G. Far from it. At least 
you know, Triple G is fighting in his rightful weight class. Then you see the Paris comparison with Canelo and Amir Khan. That makes no sense because we all know Errol Spence Jr. can't even, you know, can't even wash Canelo Alvarez's underwear. So he's not even to be mentioned in the same sentence as Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez is levels above anything Errol Spence Jr. can even dream of being at this point in his career, period. That's not even up for debate. And Amir Khan, a guy who's already been knocked out more times than I can count, you would even compare him against a four division world champion like Mikey Garcia? You must be crazy. You have to understand that this fanboyism and hype that these guys are giving Errol Spence Jr. over Mikey Garcia will soon be exposed. Because we're under 30 days away from seeing Mikey Garcia expose the real truth in boxing. Because you have to understand, the real truth about Errol Spence Jr. is that he's not an elite level boxer. The real truth about Errol Spence Jr., he's not as powerful as people think he is. Because look at Lucas Matisse got, you know, Lamont Peterson out in three. It took Spence seven rounds and they had to throw in the towel. You know, Lamont Peterson could have kept going. If he so desired, if he didn't quit. So you have to look at it. it. Took him 11 rounds to get out of broken, a damaged Kell Brook, a guy who's already been knocked out early in a fight against a Triple G, a guy who's tailor made for you. Errol Spence Jr.'s need an accumulation of shots to hurt or drop or do anything to anyone. And because of the size advantage, that's the only thing that makes this a close and competitive fight. Other than that, Mikey Garcia, if Mikey Garcia and Errol Spence Jr., this would be an 80, you know, 80-20 fight. Mikey Garcia would easily demolish Errol Spence Jr. But at this point, because of the size disadvantage, it's a 50-50 fight, could go either way. But I see Mikey Garcia pulling off the upset because a lot of people say, oh, it's not an upset. It is an upset. Because, you know, when you move up two weight divisions and when everyone's counting you out and Errol Spence Jr. is blatantly overlooking you, this is a moment to shine. This is a moment to show everyone what you have. Errol Spence Jr. is completely overlooking Mikey Garcia. Errol Spence Jr. states that, you know, not to overlook Mikey Garcia, but I want Pacquiao next. Even Mikey Garcia said, I can't focus on future opponents right now in regards to Manny Pacquiao because fights can and cannot happen. But at the end of the day, I have to focus on Errol Spence Jr. Mikey Garcia is focused on the biggest fight of his career, the fight that will make him a superstar. Don't be fooled. Errol Spence Jr. thinks this is an easy night. He thinks he's going to go in and demolish Mikey Garcia. And a lot of people say, no, Errol Spence Jr. is humble and quiet. Errol Spence Jr. takes a lot of disrespectful shots, but in a very quiet and soft tone. You have to understand that. A lot of people are saying, no, Errol Spence Jr. is this monster, this killer. I don't see that. And a lot of people don't understand is because they don't have 2020 vision. You have to look at this thing objectively, honestly, and unbiasedly. Errol Spence Jr. has been involved in a number of showcase fights, fights against damaged opponents, got fights against guys who's already been beat up or knocked out or dropped. So he's that's his best wins. Those are his best wins. What has Errol Spence Jr. done against an undefeated world champion? Name one who was at the elite level and prime in his career. Show me one. He doesn't have one because everyone he's fought at the top level, his best wins have all been defeated, have all been hurt by someone else. He is not who you think he is. Once again, unbiased as always, it's the IBFP. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.